let's talk about uh, the main uh, just off planes. So let's not talk, talk about the safety of uh, safety wire that involves around uh, lithium, lithium polymer batteries. So the first and foremost, when you play with these, get this one. It's very handy and it's very safe to have this at home. Uh, first, uh, if you are a beginner and if you are not confident enough while using these, I would suggest always use these for charging or discharging. So how you can use it is simply get your LiPo inside it and do your charging or discharging process. So I always uh, advise everyone to use this procedure, plug in this, plug in your uh, uh, balance ports and start charging. There's always a myth around uh, these uh, uh, lipos. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, if you read about them in blogs or anywhere, uh, they always say that these can bring down your house or burn down your house. Uh, I've been using this for past two years now. Uh, I've never had any instances. Yes, I've done some crazy stuff like uh, uh, shorting uh, the uh, the leads, uh, which ended up in fire. So. Uh, uh, never do that. Uh, for instance, uh, say for example, uh, a two-cell lipo. Uh, when you when the uh, lipo is uh, fully charged, each cell will attain a voltage of 4.2 uh, into two. That's uh, 8.4. Uh, same goes to a three-cell lipo. 4.2 into three. That's again 12 volt. Uh, so uh, when you talk about two. Uh, 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 two cell lipo uh, that's 8.4 I would suggest uh, never drop it down uh, um, 7.4 but probably around uh, 7 volt uh, that's uh, I, that's an ideal condition uh, ideal condition anyway so so that's pretty much fine uh, when you have to avoid such instances next uh, uh, you can see the voltage on the first cell is 3.68 and the second cell is 2.82. So it's a clear indicator that uh, the second cell is uh, uh, below uh, 3 volt. So the second cell inside uh, this LiPo is corrupted and the first cell is at a voltage of 3.8. So that's pretty much fine. Uh, so if you ask me what am I supposed to do with this repo, I would simply say go ahead and throw it uh, because it's of no use. I have done my research from my end uh, to recover that uh, uh, faulty uh, repo. If in case uh, uh, now that it's a two cell repo and one, uh, one of the cells inside it has gone down with a voltage of 2.82 and if you ask me whether I can retain it back uh, to a normal uh, voltage like uh, say like 3.2 volt or 3.5 or 3.3 uh, about that uh, I've tried my ways to do so but um, unfortunately I couldn't uh, and most of it on forums or uh, anywhere uh, it's a clear indicator that this lipo is corrupted so I had, I've had uh, similar instances, so uh, like this one here, uh, this I use it uh, for my TX a transmitter, FlySky 9 channel. Uh, I, had the, I had this one before, this was the first LiPo I bo uh, bought it uh, when I uh, got my uh, transmitter. Uh, same uh, went wrong with this one as well. Uh, I didn't uh, notice the falling uh, voltage uh, in the LiPo and uh, continued uh, working with it and ended up having uh, a faulty cell inside it. So it was a three cell and the two cell uh, had uh, um, retained uh, was uh, fine and the third cell was uh, corrupted. It had gone below uh, three volt. 
so i i thought uh, why not uh, do some uh, uh, thing on the lipo so uh, see this was done uh, uh, by by taking some risk uh, if you guys want to do it you can do it by opening up the lipo uh, and uh, removing that cell and soldering it back uh, uh, with the leads uh, so i wouldn't suggest you to do this um, and again uh, it all depends on you if you want to try something uh, different you can go ahead and do it uh, but i wouldn't show that uh, show that in my video that have I, how i've done it if you guys need any information on that you can write to me i can uh, tell you what exactly i did it uh, uh, in order to uh, 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 change the uh, series pack of 3 to 2 so uh, again uh, this is uh, a transmitter lipo and uh, uh, the capacity the C rating is at 6 and again I can't use it on any of the uh, planes because the C rating is very low all I can do is simply keep it I can probably use it for LEDs uh, lighting up LEDs or something like that because the C rating doesn't allow me to use it on any of the planes <laughs> uh, though the, the capacity is uh, pretty much good it's uh, 2200 mAh uh, uh, battery next uh, uh, clear cut guys never shot your uh, uh, wires uh, leads you'll end up having fire I've had instances where I've shot my leads uh, uh, by doing some monkey play but uh, ended up having fire so be careful around that uh, next uh, oh. <coughs> okay next comes uh, never charge a lipo uh, immediately after your flight, uh, give it some time and then charge your lipo. It will always help you uh, help the lipo for a, a longer life. Uh, ne next, uh, uh, to uh, for a greater longer life, I would suggest always keep the voltage of your uh, lipo at 3.7 volt per cell. Uh, when you're storing it for uh, more than a day this will obviously help you on a long run so uh, one more uh, uh, before I end this video uh, one small tip uh, that uh, I myself uh, uh, discovered uh, when I was dealing with uh, this lipo here this is my lipo for my TX as I mentioned earlier I've had uh, issues while uh, charging uh, this lipo. This is this I can't use uh, mains to charge this lipo because I've got only uh, the balance plugs here, here and here. This is the uh, lead, and this is the balance charging port. So but with this charger here, I've had uh, uh, like uh, issues around it where I was unable to charge this uh, lipo so uh, when I tried the same on my professional lipo I again I faced a similar problem so uh, because I was using the uh, balance plugs though because there's no uh, lead charging so uh, I came up with uh, I thought uh, let me try something uh, nasty here uh, so what I did was uh, I cut open the lead wires a bit of it here and here because I don't want this to short and again have some fire at home so I cut open the uh, parallel leads uh, at different locations and what I did was use these uh, crocodile plugs and connected it with the correct polarity and used it on my means here so when I did that it worked perfectly fine and the lipo was charging just like before so this is one of the and and, and, and it wasn't uh, balance charging guys it was just the lead charging uh, or charge it with, uh, using the leads so never do uh, the lead charge for this if you guys ever use uh, face any kind of issues around the, these kind of lipos uh, so try you can try this it's pretty much safe I've tried it and never had any issues 
so uh, yeah that's about it uh, so i think i probably uh, did my bit of uh, um uh, providing some useful information i hope so uh and i would say that uh, 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 excuse me if i have said something wrong uh, correct me if i'm i was wrong somewhere uh, explaining you guys uh, uh, what uh, best i could uh, remember and uh, i could put it across uh if you guys have any questions uh, reach out to me you know, all you can do is uh, write to me on my facebook page that's rc air morning and flying or you can write to me on my uh, youtube channel uh, as a um, token of appreciation if you guys like my work please do um, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, also like my page on uh, uh, facebook and if you guys uh, like this video do like my video and um, support and uh, share your appreciation uh, towards my work and uh, yeah all right guys i think i'll end this here with a good note that uh, fly high and keep trying and uh, uh, always uh, remember lipos are something that needs to be uh, carefully maintained because uh, one of the components that serve as very important as uh, our planes and multi rotors um, and these are very costly stuff so uh, a small bit of information that i uh, that i have provided may help you save your lipo with a good note uh, good luck guys and fly high and uh, uh, see you guys in my next video all right have a nice day guys Bye.